This video covers how to submit a mobile incident report in Maximo. You should have a condition report icon on your desktop. Double clicking on this icon will open the condition report application in Maximo. And here's where I would enter the information related to the incident. There is a summary field and a details field I need to fill out. Next I'll need to select a location. So I will click the select value icon next to the condition report location field and select my location. If my location is not in the list then I can select other. But then I'll need to put in a description because now that field is required. So I'll put this back to Afraid of Headquarters. And you can see that some of the information is already populated automatically. This is a mobile incident, so I'll need to check the mobile incident box. And then I need to enter an equipment number or vehicle number. When I've finished filling out my information, I click Submit. After submitting your condition report, Maximo gives you a dialog box asking you what you'd like to do next. I can view the details of this report, or I can return to the Start Center, or I can submit another condition report using the Create Another Condition Report button. For now, I'll click Return to Start Center. Depending on your role and job function here at Grant PUD, you'll probably have a little bit different Start Center. In this example, I have two tabs, Condition Reporting and Self-Service. And the Condition Reporting tab is highlighted. On the left, I see Favorite Applications, so I could navigate to Create Condition Report and submit another report, or I can view my condition reports using the View Condition Report link. On the right-hand side is My Condition Reports and My Team's Condition Reports. Well, I'm not a supervisor, so I won't see anything under My Team's Condition Reports, but I can see the condition reports I've submitted at the top. All of those types of information can be seen under My Condition Reports. Next I'd like to show you how to open up and view condition reports. And then I'll show you how to add an attachment. I'll go ahead and open up my injury report. And now I'm viewing the record, the injury report. And I'm going to scroll down to the attachment section. I'd like to attach a picture or an image to this condition report. So I will now click the Attach File button and I get a dialog box and I'm going to pick Select File and then I will navigate out to the location where my image is saved. I will select the image and then click Open. It's not required but I can give it a name and a description and then click OK. And now I've added an attachment to this Maximo record. I can also update the condition report by adding a log entry. To do that I click Update Condition Report under the Log section and a dialog box will open where I can give it a summary and the details and then this log entry will be saved with the condition report. and click OK to close the dialog box. And now I've added a log entry to this condition report. And when I'm finished, I'll just click the Maximo Home icon to take me back to the Start Center. The last thing I'd like to show you for this tutorial is how to search for your condition reports. One way is I can view it right here from my Start Center results set under My Condition Reports. If I had a lot of reports, then I might want to use the View Condition Report application because it provides a search feature. So this is the View Condition Reports application and the top half of the screen are all search fields or filter fields. So I could enter a date range or part of the summary to help me search for the condition report that I'm looking for. Once I've entered criteria 
in the filter fields, I click the Find button to narrow down my list of results, and now I can see that I've found the condition report that I was searching for. And I can click on the underlined link to open the report, and that's how to search for and view condition reports in Maximo. This is a very quick Maximo navigation tutorial to get you started. First thing is Maximo opens in a web browser, but you need to try to ignore those back and forward buttons in your browser. All of your navigation in Maximo needs to be done with the Maximo navigation controls. In the very upper left hand corner is the home button which brings you to the start center, which is where we are now. I'm currently on the condition reporting tab where I can view my condition reports that I've submitted. So moving from left to right, in the top toolbar we have the Home button which brings you to this Maximo Start Center. And then we have what we call the Hamburger menu. When you click it you see all of the areas in Maximo where you have permission to navigate. Moving to the right, we have bulletins available to the Maximo user community. You have a Report menu link. You have a Profile link and a logout button for when you're finished using Maximo. I'd like to draw your attention now to the question mark icon which is the Maximo help menu because you can expand the Grant PewDiePie Maximo tutorials and see more videos like this.